Hey, me, Grandpa. Like what you see? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe then. Please touch my furs. What's up everybody? It is Halion. We're back in with more 20 minutes till dawn. I am having so much fun with this game. I am only still only four or five hours of playtime in, so there's a kind of a lot to see, at least in the carrots and weapons, but it's unfortunate. It is still very, 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 very early access. So there's only so many different, you know, full on different builds that you can have here. But I figured we'd do something a bit more vanilla. We got Shauna, we got the crossbow, and maybe I'm gonna try to make the what's it called? Mini clip synergy work where you're just constantly reloading. I think that would make sense here. Either crossbow or like rocket grenade launcher just sounds kind of scary if I did that because uh, it does have higher base damage, but it, like I'd have to constantly be shooting it and that could get scary. Here's my skill tree at this moment. Here's what we got filled out. Uh, so we got five points into the blessing now for the Holy Shield. I'm hoping to start putting points into growth basically as soon as possible because that sounds pretty insane really between the healing and the XP gain. All right, let's give it a shot. I'm doing something very specific, so we may not win, but as long as we get the synergy going, I might be willing to show the video. We're on darkness level four. This is as high as I've gone. All right, let me peek at the synergy before I forget what we need to get here. Mini clip, we need fan fire fresh clip. So it's, it's kind of just about reload synergies. I'm gonna try to avoid the, what do you call them? And we get one piercing with a crossbow, which I don't think is listed in the description. Uh, I'm going to avoid the elements and the summons just because we've done plenty of those builds, but I haven't really gotten a more strict bullet build going on in some way. Or like a quote unquote reload build, I guess I should call it either. Now, I know I'm probably not going to make great use of the standing still thing here. I just don't know how I would. Really? Like, it just kind of seems counterintuitive to how you're supposed to play the game. <laughs> Where you just kind of constantly be moving to pick up uh, the XP and stuff. But yeah. None of these are what we want, please. I need none of those. This one's pretty bad. Siege doesn't really work unless you have some sort of magazine. Uh, take aim. It's really not great, I gotta say. I don't love any of these, to be honest. This thing, maybe Divine Blessing, reload right move speed for now. It's too bad. We kind of got screwed a little bit here. I mean, plus 25% to a reload rate sounds pretty useful at the moment. I think I'm actually just gonna shoot and move and not even worry about trying to stop for that tiny bit of bonus damage for now. The enemies do take two hits to get killed right now, unfortunately for us. I can see a lot of people getting frustrated in the comments and some of like my choices or the way I play or something, but I, just, I haven't played that much still, you know? You just got to understand, like, I, there's still a lot more for me to see. I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that goes and looks things up uh, ahead of time for a game. I like to kind of experience it and try to show you all the experience along the way best I can. It's not Splinter. What is it? It's Fanfire. Okay, so we have to go Double Shot then. Double Shot is pretty good for us anyway. I'd say. But yeah, I like to show the learning process best I can. Like, I made some mistakes. Like, I didn't know the fire stacked when it's probably semi-obvious and stuff like that. But yeah, I like to kind of just show how we figure things out as we go best that we can. I'm rarely an expert in a game that I show, to be honest. Usually it's just more so let's have some fun playing it and we'll see how we do kind of thing. And maybe I can give some tips, at least uh, from my experience. There's fanfire already. When shooting a last ammo, shoot 10 additional bullets for 15%. It's not great on its own, and I'm worried that doing this without the the elements to help us with these additional projectiles, like how 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 are we really gonna do? Like these extra projectiles are dealing two damage a piece now, and that's it. Like I'm curious how this is really gonna work. But I guess we'll find out. We shall see. Quick hands is the next one because we need to get to fresh clip. All right, all right, all right. We're on our way. Yeah, so like fusillade without on hit effects, like it just doesn't make sense. I think on hit effects plus extra projectiles is insane. 
but so like fire and ice basically but if i specifically say i'm not getting that so it's like mm, is this really gonna work i don't know maybe we'll have to i'll have to change my mind or something here we reload really fast now so that's nice okay so i guess we'll just want like bullet damage or something after this uh i mean getting the fire rate for the crossbow is really high so if i get like one more ammo in the magazine or something like that it doesn't really hurt us you might think like oh well then you're not uh reloading as quickly oh but wait with mini clip it always gets reduced back to one but yeah I don't know, i'm trying to think about all the different options how exactly we want to try to make this work but it might be really difficult it might not happen is basically what i'm saying if I can, I will try to do the Halo for Shauna, Shayna. I have never gotten it going, but I think it is good for a bullet build at least. So that's a roll, because I don't really want that anyway. Armed and ready. There's fresh clip. Okay, so we could get the synergy after this now already. With a constant reloading. And there's no negative side effect, because I only have one bullet anyway, you know? Okay, okay, okay. Everyone calm down. We probably want bullet damage plus the knockback to try to keep enemies away, and maybe that'll help us a little bit, you know? Okay. There we go, there we go. That looks good. I'm trying to think what other effects there are on reload that we could grab. There's the ice shard one, but I said I'd avoid it. Who knows? We might change our mind by the end. If things are looking dicey, you know? We didn't get the thing. I don't love these. There's like, take aim. But I don't think bullet speed does much for us, to be honest. Like, it seems to have really high bullet speed. There's rapid fire, but it would really only be for the purpose of getting, like, rubber bullets, eventually. Light weaponry is okay, too. Let's reroll. There's power shot at least. I think we'll go for that. All the bullet damage all the time. Power shot plus the knockback should be pretty pretty good, I would imagine. Did we kill the boss? No, not yet. A lot of XP right there though. Okay, hold on. I need that. I need that. No synergy. Nothing here that I want right away. I don't know about that move speed. Armed and ready is okay, at least. Plus two ammo is fine. We shoot really rapidly. So, like, reloading slightly less often is good for now. The thing is, this is becomes... That upgrade becomes a lot less good if and when I get the synergy, right? But it adds to reload rate at the least. I do wonder what kind of caps we're looking at for some things, like reload rate, fire rate, etc. Like, there's got to be caps eventually. We don't have long now. Here we go. Reload rate plus 100%. Bullet damage plus 50%. Minus ammo back down to 1. 1 is the bare minimum. Alright, can we make this work? That reload rate. Wow, I've never seen a reload rate that fast, I gotta say. I don't know if this is going to be good. All right. Is it the Halo one? Triple the effect of the next... Whoa! I have never seen that. Wait, how does that work? Imagine if I took the synergy with that. Oh, this is interesting. Now I'm curious what the heck we're going to take. Hey, I can kind of stand still right now. So we'll try to get all the enemies, and then we'll go around and collect. Because we still get the bonus damage for standing still for a while. And we gotta start moving though a bit here. Triple this effect. Okay, I gotta think about this. That one's not very good. Oh no. Many of these are not very good, I gotta say. Rapid fire is useless. We'll never have more than one bullet at this rate. Enemies explode into three bullets when killed. These bullets deal 10% damage, so they'll do nine bullets. Is that the idea? Maybe it's still okay? 
is it worth rolling to try to get greedier about it? Because I could get Big Shot, which would be better, I would think, than the Splinter, I think. I think, I think, I think. Okay, we did get Big Shot indeed. Is there anything here if I triple it? Like, how does that work with Stalwart Shield? How does that work with Dragon Egg? I have a lot of questions about this, but I'm going to go Big Shot. This fire rate means nothing to us. So that's all that's all gravy right there, basically. You know? Oh, I almost got hit. Okay, okay. I wouldn't hate Splinter it looks now, especially with the more bullet damage. But Ooh. Okay, that wasn't that bad. That actually went by pretty fast, I gotta say. Can we keep the enemies at bay, though, still? It's gonna be another question. We'll have to see. Ugh. It looks like they did buff all the characters. I think they added one HP to every character, by the way, it looks. Splitfire is pretty good for us, I would think. I think it's good. An additional bullet behind us is actually quite strong, I would say. Uh, I guess I'm going to wait for this cage to go away before I pick that up. I'm not going to chance. Oh, it's moving anyway. Never mind. All right, all right, all right. We're looking quite good. I'm very excited. Bullet bounce plus two. Bullet damage minus 25. Ooh, the power. More damage, more piercing. Fire rate means nothing. I don't care about the move speed. I hate losing the max HP. But I would, I would think this is better. Maybe we can we can get bullet bounce from other things in the meantime. You know what I mean? Bigger bullets is actually not bad for us either. An additional piercing is always going to be good, I would think. And now with more base bullet damage, maybe things like splinter will be pretty decent. It's not like a ton of damage. That's for sure, but... Okay, 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 okay. So I'm thinking we take this rapid fire, which is useless right now, to be honest. But... That's useless. Except for the bullet speed. Siege is mediocre, obviously. I might get an occasional extra bullet, but not very rare. Well, not very rare. 33% of the time, you know? But is rubber bullets, is it worth going down here just to get rubber bullets, is the question. And I don't know. Something tells me maybe not. Let's see what else we got. <sighs> yeah, I don't love these. <laughs> I don't love these. I think there's at least one other upgrade still. I wish there was at least magnetism or something. I, I'm trying to avoid the elements best I can. So I really don't want to take fire and ice at least, but I'm probably going to have to take something. Glare is a lot less good if you're not using on hit effects, it would appear. The dragon? I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll just take that. I don't know. I don't think any of those were great. Maybe it was greedy to roll or something, but so be it. I want to try to get the halo still, if possible. It might be really hard at this rate. If you don't get the halo from the first chest as an option, then it's probably going to be very difficult. Uh, some move speed would probably wouldn't kill us, you know, if we can. Okay. Pretty big bullet damage. 66 is pretty high. There's Reaper rounds. Bullet damage plus 15%. Piercing plus 1. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was looking for last time, probably. Light weaponry would probably be really good just because it scales with our bullets. So we might have to take that. There's only so many skill trees right now. So, like, it's, it's saying I'm not going to take, like, two or three different skill trees. It's kind of like, oh, what am I taking then? You know what I mean? So we're probably going to want to take that at some point. If I were to guess. I'm going to try to stick to my promise, though. There's still Splinter to take. 
Uh, we might be able to get the plus damage to bullets. Yeah, it's either magnetism or light weaponry here, I'd say. I think we just take light weaponry. It should be decent, you know, the dagger... I'm looking at the dagger, it's hitting for, like, in the 70s, which is pretty good, I'd say. It's never gonna get that good, but it'll be alright. Okay. Looking good. So, yeah, I try to do the goofy builds. I'm not gonna lie, there's probably been, like, five or six attempts I've had at trying to do, like, very specific or goofy builds in this game that I never got past, like, the 10 minute mark, so thus, you're not gonna see them. I'll allow myself, like, if I get past 15 minutes, it's like, maybe it's worth it if it was a fun build. But the problem is, there's not that many different builds, and also, the balancing in the game isn't perfect, so I don't... I don't think that there's necessarily uh, a lot of room there yet. But in the future, though, you know, I just take the scythe now. I think the scythe is fine. Scythe's good, I'd say, overall. Maybe I'm okay with trying to get siege, you know, and then we can just stand still and occasionally we get an extra bullet out of it and stuff like that. We're starting to get surrounded. As you can probably see. Which is not good. I don't know. It's gonna be a while before I can go try to pick up this XP if I were to guess. At the 10 minute mark is when you start to get the chunky enemies and things kind of clear up. So we might have to kind of hold our ground for a little while. I'm not exactly positive how piercing plus uh, bounce w uh, interact exactly. Use a lot. It's probably an overall upgrade. Right? But I get scared seeing minus 25% on the bullet damage, you know what I mean? Projectiles plus one. Doubles base projectiles also. Huh. I'm a little nervous about that one. It's probably okay. It feels like a side grade, almost. I'm gonna try to skip it. Because it doesn't... I feel like it's not a feel-good, at least. I guess I'm gonna take Magnetism here. I could take the move speed, too. Don't love it, though. Okay... I'm not doing bad, though, I gotta say. I definitely like having the knockback. I wonder what I want for our second tome. I assume the thing that triples our base projectiles just won't work now. I would think. Recharge. Refill one ammo, which is kind of fine. Actually, I'm curious how this works. Increase reload rate 5% for every enemy killed. Bonus resets after reloading. Now, the, here's like three that are kind of okay. Every XP pickup. So this can interrupt your reload. Which is probably a good thing because it's only when you start reloading is when you actually get the different, the reload effects, you know, like, I forget what it's called, fan fire and the little explosion radius. So this is actually probably quite good for us. We want this, this, and this eventually, but maybe recharge. Also has a plus pickup range right now. It might, it might interrupt at a reload, but truthfully, it probably just, we reload so fast, it's kind of doubtful. Reload it by 5% for enemy enemy kill. Bonus resets after reloading. I think dual wield would be better here. For now. Get a second dagger going. I would think. A little hard to say though. Okay, alright. Let's see. Ooh, I don't love these. I might roll these. If I go down here and get some bullet damage eventually. Automatically kill enemies below 20% HP. Okay. So that's interesting. So if we get that and we have all those little projectiles, I think that could be a synergy. But I don't... That's a long way away. Dang, I was hoping to find something else instead here. This will just take out the pickup range. Is that or Salwart Shield, probably? Let's take more pickup range for now. I feel like the whole, like, advancing your vision feels 
next to useless. <laughs> I'm not really seeing the point right now in the game. If the game's dark and stuff, it's got this color palette, if you want to call it that. But it's hardly... Like, I think the more... The bigger point of the vision, I'm sure, is more so, like, the glare buffs and stuff like that. But still, you think it, it might do a little bit more than just that. I don't want the game to... I don't want them to make it darker on us, really. Right, let's take Splinter now. Yeah. Summon damage. It would help the bolts of daggers, but that's it. Enemy explode into three bullets when killed. These bullets deal 10% damage. Good enough. We're going to see a lot more little bullets flying around. So now, if we can work our way toward Assassin, I wonder how well that could work for us. I'm not sure yet. Is getting that, I don't know, 20%... And, uh, enemies below 20% health automatically get killed. It's like... It's probably not as good as I'm making it out to be at the moment, honestly. <laughs> but it's something. Well, we are past the 10-minute mark, and things feel pretty good right now. So at least there's that. Let's see, these enemies are a lot beefier, that's for sure. Okay... Let's see... I'm still thinking about, do I go down this path in some way? I don't think so. Let's roll it. We'll take more pickup range for now. Mm, will I? No, let's start going this way. We can get some bullet damage, maybe. Another piercing. I guess bullet speed is something. I just kind of find it hard to believe with the current bullet speed that we have. Like, is it really going to be that useful? I kind of feel like that sniper tree is one of the less useful ones right now. Uh, that and the glare stuff. Like, I haven't, I haven't really gotten glare to go yet. We're gonna, that's next on the list, probably, for builds to have happen. But that means you gotta take on-hit effects for sure, fire and ice. That's, like, the only way. If we do that with the shotgun, and we have lots of close range and projectiles and stuff, maybe that could work. Ah, my next build, perhaps. In the meantime, at least we're doing something a bit different. Oh, I thought I got hit. Okay, knockback's looking pretty good, I gotta say. Alright, so yeah. I've been doing a lot more YouTube exclusives for this game in particular. Not for any particular reason, we've just been quite busy on Twitch for the different games we're playing. Let me know if y'all have been liking these. I do consider that kind of feedback. Let me know what you think. If you prefer this, if you prefer Twitch, if you don't really care too much, you know, just let me know in the comments how you feel about it. Oh, I almost got hit. Trying to focus down the boss here, obviously. Look at all those flies and stuff. I'm seeing the splinter go off and you see a bunch of little numbers pop up on the screen. I don't know if we can survive to the end like this though. We're keeping enemies away, but I don't think we're killing a lot. And therefore, it's gonna be, we're gonna struggle to gain XP. We're not gonna get a lot better. Does that make sense? I really would have expected that this boss would die by now. I could try to let it get closer. I'm kinda trying to, but it's really scary with those flies that it's summoning. I've been firing away over here. I've really needed those on-hit effects, I think. Oh! Come on, baby! Oh, 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 that was scary. Maybe if we could somehow still snag the halo. I think this boss can drop it. The thing is, there's not going to be a lot of XP to get off the ground, I would think, right now. Ah, finally. We're keeping everything away from us. So there's something going on. Ugh. Base experience gained by 40%? I never got the Halo, I'm sorry. I've never seen this one. I haven't played with this character a lot. 40% is massive, though. Imagine if you got that as your first chest. Baby. Be looking golden, you know what I mean? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's roll. Ugh. Stalwart shield. 
Magic Lens? I'm not, I'm not, like Magic Lens I've actually come around to, but I don't think it's for this build. Most things are not for this build. <laughs> I think I gotta take some form of damage here. I don't know if Sour Shield's really gonna make a big difference right now with six minutes left. All right, I really need to get some things killed so I can actually pick up some XP though. 40% more XP isn't really gonna help us if I can't kill anything, huh? <laughs> See some XP on the ground over here. Maybe the glare would have been okay for this build after all, just because the enemies are winding up getting so close to me now. Nah, actually the knockback kind of keeps them out of range a lot of times. So you probably want less knockback and stuff. If you're gonna do the glare build. Okay. I'm just picturing how good would this be if we actually just threw even the first level of ice on there. It's kind of a problem that those on hit effects are so good, huh? It's too bad. We're gonna try to not do it though. All right, brainstorming thumbnail ideas I hear. One shot, one kill, because we only have one ammo the whole time. Hmm, kind of like a overused thing. Initially, before I even got this energy, I was thinking like zero ammo build, but truth is we don't have zero ammo. But yeah, there was a point where I didn't know what... Oh, come on. Sometimes this thing attacks a lot faster, I, I swear. It must scale with something that we pick up, I'm thinking. Whoa, baby. This is going to take a long time to kill. That's for sure. Like, if the last one took a long time to kill, I can only imagine. Uh-oh. I kind of wasn't aiming there for a second. I was just nervously trying to make sure I didn't get hit. Oh. Okay, just fall back a little bit. That's fine. There we go. Perfection. Oh. Okay. We're no longer encapsulated, though, at least. But there's a second boss in the arena. Luckily, that boss doesn't really do anything. I think it's, like, the closer I am to the boss, the more quickly it fires. I swear it feels that way. I lost my shield. Oh, no. no. Okay. We got it down to three minutes at least. If we do go down, so be it. Not without a fight though, come on. Can we take them out at least, please? Ah, oh, caught me. One more health. Finally got a level, it's been a long time now though. I don't see any of these helping me right now. Maybe I re-roll? and try to just get health. Like another piercing, I don't see that doing anything. Oh no, I didn't get it. No health. Maybe the ghost would almost be okay at this point. Kill clip? Yeah, right, kill clip's not gonna do anything. All right, ghost friend. You are my savior now. Okay, watch out. Get over this way. Okay, that's fine. I feel like the game's lagging a little bit now. Okay, I'm gonna go back down here a little bit. Oh gosh. Two and a half minutes. Can I kill this thing? I don't know if we can. This build stinks. <laughs> we just need to take some elements, that's for sure, right? Oh! One level of ice probably would have uh, netted us a win if I were to guess. I don't know if we can survive this. I mean, being a darkness level four definitely makes it harder, but yeah. Oh, that was really close. I'd love to get on the other side of this thing, but I just don't know if it's plausible anymore. Maybe get up close so the scythe can hit it. 
I don't know how many times the scythe will hit it, really. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna take the health. None of those other ones are big deals, anyway, I feel. I'm gonna try to get over here where there's some XP on the ground. There we go. A lag setting in, though. Little bit at a time, little bit at a time. Oh, the Holy Shield's back up, too. I got some XP. 90 seconds, baby. Oh, I lost my shield. Do I stop? Do I give up on trying to kill this thing? Oh, no, I got hit again. <gasps> Stay close to it. Please don't give me any of the eyeballs that shoot at me. They're very scary right now. Oh, summon attack speed. It helps with uh, some other stuff. Full speed bolt damage. Honestly, I think this might be the best thing with the daggers, too. If I were to guess. Please. Please. Can we kill it? Can we kill it? Under a minute to go. This is stressful. Come on, baby. I'm so nervous right now. No, that was very close. I don't think I ever took Stalwart Shield, so I don't think I'm getting the Holy Shield back. Maybe I will. We're keeping him away. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we killed it. I'm shocked. Ooh, reload rate minus 50. Well, oh, these are horrible. <laughs> Is this worth it? For the reload rate minus 50%? I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna take the move speed. The minus max HP doesn't really matter, you know? I'm never gonna kill that boss. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna try to move and get some XP. It's been lying around. Oh god, but please also don't get hit by that stuff. Okay. Slowly, surely. Oh, only less than 10 seconds left. I think we're gonna make it. I just realized I wasn't paying attention. More health, just in case. Yes, please. Two. One. I can't believe we survived. Do not do that build. <laughs> I mean, just, you could do that build. But just, you know, what am I saying here? Just get, uh, just take some ice or something. Look, I killed so few enemies compared to other times. Oh my god. That was stressful. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Like, subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, everyone.